Today we are going to work on tracing our pencil lines in our buildings. So the first thing I want you all to notice is how slowly I am working as I trace out these lines. I'm not working super fast, I'm not trying to rush through them, and if you want to use a ruler you can, um, but as long as you work really slow you should be able to very carefully trace over all those lines. If you have a lot of straight lines going in the same direction, it can be really helpful to turn your paper, kind of how I was there. So if you need to move your paper around to make it more comfortable for yourself, make sure that you're doing that. If you have a lot of straight lines going in the same direction, you can kind of do them all at once. And then take a look every once in a while at your paper to see if you've missed any spots, so that way you can erase them. So as you're tracing, my shapes are pretty simple, so this might be the time where you notice you want to add in more details with your Sharpie, so that's totally fine. Go ahead and add any extra details you want. Just make sure that you have a steady hand because you won't be able to erase them while you're working with the Sharpie. Now here I slowed it down so that you can see when I make straight lines how I use my arm and not my wrist. So make sure that when you have a straight line you need to trace, those are especially the areas where you need to slow down. Go on in when you're all done and erase all of your pencil lines. Make sure that there's none showing. When you have everything finished, you should have no pencil lines. When you finish tracing it out, you can move on to the cutting stage. Cutting is another part of this project that you really wanna work slowly in. So make sure you line up your blade really carefully, or what you can do is also cut near the line that you need to cut. That way you can get as close as possible to that line. Notice that I didn't cut both sides of the building here. I only cut one side to start because it's gonna make it easier for me to cut this, this part. Again, pay attention to how I'm lining my blade up with my lines and cutting perfectly along that line. You can cut extra space off the top because it'll make it easier for you to work with. Now, if you have spots in between the buildings, that can get a little bit tricky. So make sure that you're also going extra slow in any areas that you're cutting in between two buildings. Here, I'm gonna cut two straight lines going in the same direction. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is cut the line that's in between them. Makes it easier for me to get in that really small space there. Now notice how I'm only cutting lines in one direction at a time. I'm not turning the blades, I'm not turning the scissors, I'm just working in one direction, making a complete cut, and then cutting the other parts. All done.